Good morning children. Now you know how to count till 10,000. Let's learn more of counting. Which is the smallest single digit number? Which is the counting number? It is 1. And which is the greatest single digit number? It has to be 9. Now let us add 1 to 9. What do we get? It is equal to 10. So we get 10 which is the smallest two digit number. Now which is the greatest two digit number? We can form it by using the greatest number or the greatest digit which is 9. So for two digit use 9 two times we get 99 and what is 99 plus 1? It is equal to 100. So we get the smallest 1, 2, 3, 3 digit number. So 100 is the smallest 3 digit number. If we keep going like this, which is the greatest 3 digit number? It has to be 3 times 9 written. So 9, 9, 9. Now again, if we add 1 to it, what should we get? We should get the smallest 4 digit number. Let's add 9 plus 1, 10 carry over 1 again. 9 plus carry over 10 again 9 plus carry over 1 10 so we get 1000 and as we said 1000 is the smallest four digit number continuing which is the greatest four digit number it has to be 999 4 times 9 written. Now add 1 to it. What do we get? We get 9 plus 1, 10, 0 here, 1 goes above. Again 9 plus 1, 10, 1 goes here. Again 10, 1 goes here, 10. So we get the smallest 5 digit number which is 10,000. So, 10,000 is the smallest 5 digit number. Similarly, the greatest 5 digit number should be 9 written 5 times. So, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9. Now, let's again add 1 to it. What do we get? Let's see. 99999 9, 9, which is exactly equal to 99999 if we add 1 to it what do we get 9 plus 1 is 10 carry over 1 now here adding 9 plus 1 again we get 10 so 0 1 is carry again 9 plus 1 is 10 0 here 1 is carry 9 plus 1 10 0 here carry and lastly 9 plus 1 it is equal to 10 now which is this number 1 2 3 4 5 6 it has 6 digit numbers it is the smallest 6 digit number and what do we call it 1 stands 100 thousand 10,000 and 100,000 so this is equal to 100,000 and what is it called in Indian system it is the smallest six digit number see there are hundred thousands so 100,000 you know this 100,000 is the smallest six digit number which is equal to 100,000 and it is known as 
one lakh so remember children one lakh means one hundred thousand and it has one two three four five zeros to it and the smallest six digit number understood so now you know what is one lakh it is nothing but it is equal to one hundred thousand is called one lakh so how do we get one lakh if we add one to ninety nine thousand nine hundred and ninety nine we get one lakh or we can also do it other way if we multiply ten thousand by ten what do we get we get hundred thousand and this is equal to one lakh so now you know what is one lakh equal to now let's try to add this is one lakh as it has five zeros to it plus one lakh if we add we get two lakhs so this is two lakhs two followed by five zeros now let us see this is mani ram and he bought a huge land for rupees 576850 how to read this it's little confusing is it 5 lakhs or 57 lakhs or 57000 so let us try to place the number under a place value chart and then it will be easy to read the number so this we have put 5768500 the number here and let's start putting the place value names so starting from the rightmost side ones place tens place hundreds place thousands place next what will come 10 thousands place and then what will come the 100 thousands place which is called lakh place so now it becomes very easy to read the number see 5 is under lakh so it should be 5 lakh and 7 is under 10 thousand so 70000 and 6 is under 1000 so 6000 and 8 is under 100s place so 800 5 under 10s place so 50 and 0 is under 1s place so 0 only so what is it equal to we can say 5 lakh Seventy six thousand eight hundred and fifty, as there is no ones place here, which is zero here specifically, so it is not red. So the number is five lakh seventy six thousand eight hundred and fifty. Understood? Now. let us try to put this number which is 5 lakh 76850 in expanded form so let's do it first starting from the lakhs 5 lakh so 5 multiplied by 1 lakh and we know there are five zeros in 1 lakh next coming here we know it is equal to what is it equal to it is 10 thousands place so 7 multiplied by now let us write this number in expanded form now that we have placed the number under the place value chart it becomes very easy So let's starts from the lakh position. So five into one lakh plus seven into ten thousand. Next 
six into one thousand plus what do we have? Eight hundred. So eight into one hundred plus what do we have? Next we have five ten. So five multiplied by ten and last value is zero so we can ignore it you can write plus zero or you can also ignore it both are correct so this was the expanded form of five lakh seventy six thousand eight hundred and fifty see it is so easy five is under lakhs so five multiplied by one lakh 7 is under 10,000 so 7 multiplied by 10,000 6 is under 1,000 so we add 6 multiplied by 1,000 8 is under 100 cut 8 is under 100 so we add 8 multiplied by 100 and lastly we have 5 tenths so 5 multiplied by 10 and we get the expanded form. Understood? That's all for now. Bye bye children.